and welcome to this video. My name is Manya and today I'm taking you thrifting for the first time in three months. So I've been moving, this is my first thrift with me in quite a while and I am in the Netherlands thrifting in the countryside in a store that I've been to maybe four years ago only once so I barely remember it and it's only open once a week but I have a feeling that this is gonna be good so I hope my feeling will not disappoint me so we're gonna go inside and see if they have some good stuff. Right as I walked into the store, I had a feeling that this would be a good one. My feeling definitely didn't disappoint. The first thing that I liked is this embroidery piece. I currently don't have a place to hang it. We just moved and I'm still unpacking things and once that is done, I can focus more on the actual home decor of my house. I can As soon as I spotted this bowl, I was in love. I have the hardest time finding pretty serving bowls, and this one is a winner. We can do it. I know we'll find the missing frame. Sideways up or down, it's all the same. They have lots of glassware and ceramics, but because I still need to start my store back up and I already have lots of inventory, I'm extra picky with things that I'm bringing home with me right now. Crystal is really having a moment right now. It's not necessarily my thing, but this store had a nice selection. For a second, I was wondering whether this was vintage, but nope. It still had the barcode sticker on the bottom. I'm looking for a nice set of dessert bowls, but I wasn't loving the color of these, and so I left them behind. lots of copper things here and also a few brass items nothing that caught my eye but I did really like the combo of copper porcelain and brass in this kettle uh, uh, we can do I'm still bummed that I didn't pick up these ceramic cups. They would be perfect for keeping our toothbrushes and toothpaste in. I think I really need to go back next week and get them. We will do it. Those kinds of lamps are so cool. I didn't like the shade, but I was thinking about getting it for my office. The only problem is I don't even have a desk yet. I feel like I should probably get that first. What do you think I should do? Let me know in the comments down below. This latch hook wall hanging was also so cool, but as I said, I'm still figuring things out in the new house and I did decide to leave it there. The red rug really caught my eye. I'm still looking for a new one for our living room, but this one did have damage. Such a bummer. I did find a bunch of brass knobs and ended up getting a few. I still have a couple of cabinets that I want to change the hardware on, so these were absolutely perfect for that. So 
if these Frisian ceramics ever come back in style and in the favor of people, I will be a very rich woman. I've mentioned it before, but they are literally in every single thrift store where I live. This planter was also cute, but I already have three that are shaped like a goblet and I feel like that's enough. They had so many cool vintage craft items there, embroidery, cross stitch and latch hook sets and also old macrame rings and this really pretty lead glass hanger that you can paint on. I am a terrible artist though and a master procrastinator when it comes to crafting so I didn't get any of these. selection of blue and white pottery was very nice. I'm not into the blue and white trend, but lots of people are. If you want to find some good items, you should really come to the Netherlands. I did pick up this pretty tray, which I totally forgot to show you in the haul portion, so here it is. I love it and I paid only €2.50 for it. It's the next day and I'm going to another thrift store. This one I've never been to, it's in another village. So I had to drive around 30 minutes. Actually, my husband and Bella are both with me. But yeah, I'm gonna see whether they have some good stuff because there is another thrift store that belongs to this one, which is one of my favorites. And this one actually reopened, or this one actually opened while we were living in Germany. So I'm very excited and I hope I'm gonna score some good stuff there. You don't have to. Deze huh? mooi. Oh, die tulp. Nee, is deze. Die oude kaart, dat is mooi. Dat is van Polen. Wat? Polen. Oh ja. Dit is wel cool. Kijk, de kastje is ook wel leuk. Kijk, die stoel. I did like all the display items at the entrance I had a hard time finding good vintage here there were a few nice items here and there but nothing that really swept me off my feet cutting grass and chopping wood can be romantic sipping coffee under the apple tree is gentle manly I couldn't make up my mind whether this onion container was funny and quirky or just straight up creepy. The creepiness percentage was definitely higher and it did not come home with me. This is also really cute for a kitchen. I decided not to get it, but maybe I should have. You let the world If this had been a wall plate or a whole set of plates, it would have been mine. But I don't really have a purpose for one single plate. I love the pattern so, so much though. Even though I'm not into most blue and white things, I quite like these dainty teacups. They were really well made and pretty fragile. They kind of look like bone china even though they were not marked bone china. Also, when you watch the next clip, you'll see that my husband definitely is my voice of reason when I thrift. This is very thick. Oh, this is from Frankreich, right? This is like one of the Yeah, I'm not going to say it. 
Deze is zwaar. Deze is echt een ijzer. Deze is echt zwaar. Deze is echt, dit is echt een goede. Deze. Deze is vet zwaar. Ik weet niet. Ja, maar ja, als we zo vaak gebruiken, die Nee, ik gebruik het niet zo vaak, klopt. So I was not so impressed with this thrift store. I like her mom's store, which is in the little village, a lot better. They didn't have a ton of vintage, so that was kind of a bummer. But we're actually gonna walk to another store that is very close by that I've also been to not too long ago. It was one of my most recent thrift with me. My husband is actually looking for some uh, gardening stuff, so hopefully we'll find something there. And yeah, maybe I'll find something there. We shall see. didn't stay here for very long probably less than 10 minutes now that I moved back here I'm trying to look at lots of ceramics at the thrift stores to just learn all about different Dutch makers and marks the selection here is definitely different from Germany and I have a lot to learn for sure I did like these serving bowls I just wasn't completely vibing with a brown colored glass yeah I'm still looking for the perfect ones love these bookends but we didn't put up our bookshelf wall in the new house so I don't need any new ones right now plus they were also asking 10 euros for the pair. This is the fourth store I filmed at. I didn't film an intro for this because it was just a quick in and out thing. We went to five stores in about two hours, so I had to be pretty fast. You might recognize this store. It is my favorite one in Leeuwarden and I have been coming here for over a decade. As soon as I saw this bowl, I knew it was a keeper. I'll tell you more about it in the haul portion, but I was quite excited to find it. I was also thinking of picking up this cake server and replacing my plain one with it. I didn't, and now that I see this, I kinda wanna go back and pick this one up. I also like this purse, but didn't buy it just because the closure looked a little too flimsy for me. I do really appreciate the handiwork that went into it though. I love those kinds of purses. This store is one where I always check the clothing because they usually have a few cool vintage pieces in between. I picked up two things that I'm quite excited about, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to show you those later. It feels so weird sitting down after not having filmed for three months and moving to a different country. But I am in the Netherlands in our new home. This is pretty much the only presentable corner in my house right now, but I quite like the setup. Let me know what you think of this. I went to six different stores in two days, actually only one store in one day and five well, on the next day. The first store I went to was a store that I hadn't been to in four years. I did really like it and I think I'll be going back quite soon because I still saw a couple things where I think like maybe I should have picked those up. The first thing I found at that store, actually two things, are those two bowls. They're both vintage, 
very likely both mid-century. This one probably from the 50s, maybe 60s, and this one as well, just judging from the very light pastel colors. They were two euros each. Both of them are marked with numbers. I love these so much and I hope that I'm gonna find other ones as well and two euros a piece is a great price and they're both in really good condition. I picked up this little green, or well, kind of large <laughs> green speckled mug for my husband. I sent him a photo because he's always complaining, or well, not complaining, but he always says that my mugs that I have are not manly enough for him. So I thought that maybe this mug was. He agreed, so I picked it up. And inside this mug, and I also paid 50 cents each for these, are actually, wait, let me get them. Are those little vintage brass knobs? And they do have some scratches here and there, but I kind of like that for the vintage look. And they are six. And yeah, I think I paid 350 for all this together. So that makes 50 cents a piece. I picked up one thing for my shop and it is this vase. Nobody is surprised right now. This fat lava vase and this one was actually sold in Leorde, so that was the city where we used to live before we moved to Germany. It is marked with a T3, but definitely very 1970s fat lava. This one is really cool and this one is going to be going to my store, which is going to open in a couple of weeks. Finally, I've been trying to prepare a lot very hard when you move and um, if you follow my Instagram you know that lots of things have happened during and before the move. I found these and I'm so excited about them. I've been watching Laura Caldwell's videos for quite a while and she has been finding these quite a lot and they're those Lucite candles from the 1960s or 50s, they're mid-century. These actually do have gold and silver flags and I actually thought they were like real candles and they were just called lucite because they're see-through and not that they're of actual lucite but they're lucite and you can't burn them and I didn't know that but I paid 65 cents for them so that was such a good deal and for now I'm gonna keep them maybe in the future I'll sell them but right now I do really like these I'm gonna use them in my home decor I'm also planning on doing a little gallery wall in my hallway of family photos and such and I want to put them in gold frames so I picked up two gold frames and they're both vintage. This one was two euros and this one was 150. Nothing special, I already took the kind of art thing that was in there out and uh, this one I'm also gonna take out. Somebody participated in some Amsterdam sailing competition in 1995. The last thing I got at this store was originally a vase that I was intending on reselling and it is this really nice Delft vase. So it's not the blue bottle Delft, which is the most famous and the really expensive one. It's another like Delft one, which is also really good. There was something about the vase that I didn't notice when I bought it and I was so bummed out. So I'm gonna keep it for myself as a reminder to really look closely at everything. I didn't see that here on the handle. Literally the whole thing had been broken off and somebody had glued it together, but I was so excited to be back at the thrift store that I didn't see it. So I'm just gonna keep that one for myself. I do really like it. This one cost me six euros, which is quite a lot if you think about the fact that the handle's been broken off and glued back on, but so the next day, my husband, Bella, our youngest, uh, went to a few stores while Naomi was at school. That is our oldest daughter. And the first store is one that I had never been to before. And I was really excited because um, her mom, like the owner of that store, her mom also has a store, which is one of my favorites. It's where I found my favorite bone dishes that are right to here. And maybe you've seen the video where I found them. And that store was kind of disappointing because they had a lot of newer stuff. Didn't see a lot of vintage there. But I did find one thing there and it's this Lazy Susan that I've actually been wanting for um, my store so I can like take and also for YouTube so I can when I take close ups I can actually spin everything and not just use my hands which is kind of annoying but this one it was $2.50 so that is really nice. So down the road of that store is another store that I've taken you to once before and I think it might have even been my last video that I posted of a thrift with me. I found a set which I actually have seen before and I showed before in the video and it is this whole set and I'm gonna pick up a few pieces right now of those Dutch Gouda um, flora vases. 
They are made of howda. These are from 1950. It's this whole set. And when I was there the first time, they are asking 60 euros a pop for a vase. I think two items were together for like 30 or 60 euros. So they all had different prices. And I think nobody picked them up because now they make the whole set a price of 60 euros. So I got five pieces for 60 euros. I'm going to show you all of them in a second. I think those two vases, they're both the same. Or they know, I think. Yeah, I think they're exactly the same height and the same model, 437. They're all handmade, hand-painted, absolutely beautiful. I love this. I don't have a place to display it in my home. They are stunning and I'm going to sell them in my shop. I also got two bowls. The biggest piece of the set is this vase, or I don't know if it's a vase, this jar, I guess, with a matching lid. They're all in perfect condition great condition no chips no cracks no nothing so yeah this time for 60 euros for the whole set i just had to pick this up the next store that we went to I'm not sure if i actually included in the thrift with me portion or not because i didn't find anything and i had been there last time when i picked up my blue dishes so we went to that store as well um but they pretty much had the same stuff that they had before and i didn't find anything neither did my husband so we drove to lewarda and we went uh, to a few stores there as well. My favorite one of all time, I picked up this bowl. So I got a bowl for free a while ago. If you watch my free haul of all the free stuff, then you will have seen this bowl. And that one is currently in my kitchen and it has a bunch of apples in it, but it's not big enough to put all my fruit in there. So I was looking for a second bowl and I found another bowl. So this is gonna serve as my fruit bowl, but it doesn't have any markings. It is definitely vintage though, not 100% sure, it, I think maybe from the 1960s or the 70s and I love the geometric shapes on it and it's beautiful. I paid 4 euros for it which I think is very great and fair price. And other than that I only picked up two items of clothing, both which I'm going to sell. I'm going to start casually selling vintage clothing but I found this really nice vintage skirt and this is handmade. It has a beautiful pattern on it which to me it looks very Spanish because you have this kind of hacienda looking house and uh, this farmer with an oxen and a little windmill. It does not look Dutch to me, neither the house nor the colors nor the farmer. So I think that it is actually Spanish and this skirt cost me 3 euros. Then I also find something which is really cool and it's actually very trending right now for people who love vintage and it is this. Oh no, I just saw that it's ripped. Oh crap. Okay, this is such a bummer, but I think I can actually repair this. <sighs> this little um, quilted liner coat, and it has blue florals on it, and gray, and it's long. It has three quarter sleeves. I really like it, like those kinds of jackets. I do prefer long sleeves, though. My husband was like, are you wearing pajama or what? I do have to fix it, though, and once I do, it is also going to be sold. I actually went to one more store. I just ran in there really quick because Bella had to take a nap. We had to drive home. So I picked up one item and that one is going to go into my daughter's room, Naomi, once we put up her bookshelves on the wall. I still need to book ends for her and I have my two little white hands if you've seen those before but I don't think they're going to look good in a five-year-old room. Maybe a little bit too creepy for her. I like them, but I found the perfect ones for her. I found these little two cat ones. She's obsessed with cats. And she loves cats and dogs, and she was so excited when I showed these to her. I paid four euros for both of them for the pair. They're really precious, and I can't wait to decorate her room with these. If you like this video, make sure to check out these ones here on the side. I post videos about thrifting and second and finds usually every single week. Now I'm gonna start again. Very excited. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.